Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Focus for Wednesday, October the 26th, 2022, at 11.34 a.m. Central Time. Well, I hope this is a case of better late than never. I know today's Focus podcast probably should be done much earlier in the day. I know it's a little later, but but maybe you'll have a little time during your lunch hour and you'll go, oh, there's the today's Focus podcast. I, it's it's better late than ever. And so you can you can focus on this from lunch until till you, you go to bed. Does that work? I, I know you maybe you would prefer to start at breakfast, but Whenever you hear this, I hope it turns out to be beneficial. So I I hope you're ready. Are you ready? Thinking caps on, if you can, if you can. You may want to grab a notebook and something to write with because today's focus is going to be, well, it's going to be handed to you and you're going to have to do the work. Okay, here we go. If you have a Bible and if you can, open it up to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, I want you to consider two verses. We're going to read them, and then, well, we're going to listen to something. And, uh, well, they, they, they point something out, and you're going to have to determine, one, if it's true, and two, what is the significance if it is true? All right, here we go. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. All right, Romans chapter 8, verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Now, Romans chapter 8, verse 4. That the righteousness of the law might be, might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Romans chapter 8, verse 1, Romans chapter 8, verse 4, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 4, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Two verses. I want you to focus on those verses today, but I want you to consider something. I want you to consider a claim that was made this morning about these two verses in a podcast. We're going to listen to just a little bit of it. We're going to, and I want you to consider the claim that they make. And then your job today is to figure out if it's true. And if it is true, what is the significance of it? Here was the claim that was made this morning. This this uh, podcast episode dropped maybe Five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, I was getting, I was up here in the studio getting ready to go live and do something else. And all of a sudden on my iPad, I saw the podcast notification. I'm like, wait, wait, what? Oh, that's it. I said, never mind. Stop. Let's do today's focus right now. So here we go. Listen carefully. Thinking caps on. Hi there, friend. Today on Grace and Focus, we're going to talk about Romans 8, 1 and Romans 8, 4. Why are the exact same seven Greek words found in both verses. And what does the word that's translated condemnation mean in these verses? I hope you'll stay tuned for this question and answer session coming right up. Our- okay, now we're not going to listen to it. I, you're like, wait, wait, play it. No, 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 no. No. So let's listen. To, I want you to consider what you're going to be looking for today. Here is your focus for today. Here is today's focus. Romans chapter 8, Romans chapter Romans chapter 8 verse 1 and Romans chapter 8 verse 4. The claim is these verses contain the same seven Greek words. I want you to identify the same seven Greek words in verse 1 and verse 4. Make a list of them. All right? You can make a list. You can write out the definition. You're like, what, how do I do this? The Blue Letter Bible app would be a good way to start. Can you find the same seven Greek words in Romans 8.1 and Romans 8.4? And what do those words mean? And they added something to this. In Romans chapter 8, verse 1, now there is therefore now no condemnation. It sounds like what they're claiming is the same Greek word for condemnation used in verse 1 also shows up in verse Four? Is that true? Is that true? 
If that's the case, well, then you are now all, you have, just have to find the other. Well, you got to find that Greek word as well, but you can at least start with that one. So what is the significance of the word condemnation or the Greek word for condemnation that shows up in verse one? And I, it sounds like they're claiming it shows up in verse four as well. So your focus for today, Romans 8, 1, Romans 8, 4, read them multiple times, okay? Then find the same seven Greek words in verse 1 and verse 4, right? You can use the Blue Letter Bible app. Use whatever tool you need to. Find the same seven Greek words, right? Just kind of make a, write a brief de uh, definition for each one. And then what is the significance of the word condemnation? The Greek word for condemnation as it's found in 1 and 4. Is there is there anything interesting? What do you see? What do you find? And I want to know what you find. I want to know what you discover. If you are in the Discord channel, I hope you, uh, I want to know who's going to be first, who's going to find this first. And, and if you're not in the Discord channel, email me newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. I'm very curious to see who discovers this first and what is its significance. Either we're going to find out it's true, we're going to find out it's <laughs> wrong. We're either going to find out, oh, wow, we just discovered something of great significance, or we're going to be like, okay, same seven Greek words, condemnate, okay. And maybe we're just kind of there left to go kind of shrug our shoulders. Maybe we're not going to know. So you can probably guess this. There's a high probability that late tonight... We're going to do a, a special late night episode of the Today's Focus podcast series, and maybe we will review the rest of that audio, or you can do this. After you've done your work, feel free to look up the Grace and Focus radio podcast. It's Grace and Focus. Let me pull up my podcast app here. Grace and Focus radio. Grace and Focus Radio, it should be available on most podcast apps. I'm currently looking at it on the Pocket Cast podcast app. Uh, Grace and Focus, it's also available on Apple Podcasts, and I'm assuming on Google Podcasts. Wherever you get your podcasts, look for Grace and Focus Radio. Now, on some of the apps, I realized the new episode had not dropped yet, but it dropped, again, just 15 minutes ago um, on my uh iPad. So if you find it, feel free to listen to that today. And then maybe tonight we'll come back and review it. But again, read. So your goal today, Wednesday, October the 26th, 2022, Romans 8, 1, Romans 8, 4. Just think about them, meditate on them all day. Then look up each one in an interlinear, find the same seven Greek words, make a list. Here's the Greek words in Romans 8, 1. Here's the Greek words in Romans 8, 4. Here's the seven that are similar right? The same seven. Now, obviously, it's not just seven Greek words in these two verses, but the same seven Greek words are used. Find the same seven, right? But just write a kind of a brief definition of each Greek word so you have a basic idea of what those words mean. And then look up the word, find the Greek word for condemnation in verse one. Does it appear in verse four? Is that one of the same seven Greek words? And what is the significance of it? What is the significance of the same seven Greek words being used? Is this much to do about nothing or is this much to do about something that maybe you already knew or maybe you've never even considered? Think about it today. That is your focus for this Wednesday. All right, then email me, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. I personally think uh, that there's a different, fr I, I wouldn't even be considering the same seven Greek words, but there's a, a, a phrase that's used in uh, the English in both verse one and verse four that creates lots of, well, theological differences and difficulties, but we will not talk about that for now, but maybe we'll come back to it. All right, there you have it. Simple, straightforward, and easy. That is your today's focus on this Wednesday. Romans 8.1, Romans 8.4. Enjoy your study. Hopefully what you find will be beneficial and help you grow spiritually. Thanks for listening. God bless.